We're doing it, boys. I'm so good at this game! <laughs> Yo, let, 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 girls, where are you at? Oh, there they are, there they are, alright. Yo, what is up guys? So I'm here to showcase off Talus, aka the Sombra of Paladins, because I know a lot of you guys followed me for Overwatch, that were watching me play Paladins for the past couple nights, and you're like, whoa, is this the Sombra? And I mean, there are a lot of similarities between him and Sombra, but uh, there are a lot of differences too, and I'll explain that, and I want to actually explain his entire kit before I just let the raw gameplay speak for itself because he is absolutely a beast and just makes me think like how good Sombra would be if they just buffed up her damage a little bit but anyways first off guys the reason why I've been playing Paladins I did not quit Overwatch I, I know sometimes when other streamers play other games like oh did you quit this game but uh, anyways Overwatch guys is an off season so I've been playing some other games because well it's off season uh, but uh, anyways so the uh, similarities between Talus and Sombra are that you can throw down a rune similar to the translocator and then teleport back to it, which is actually really cool. Now, the biggest difference though with Talus compared to Sombra, well, there's no health pack, so you can't hack any health packs or hack any players, but you have a dash that you can dash forward and punch someone, which actually does damage. I actually use that more so as an evasive tool to engage as well and dis as well as disengage, rather than actually trying to punch them because, well, um, you don't have the ability to um, Cloak, or you can kind of get in like you can with Sombra, but uh, the thing is is that you can actually confirm your kills really easy with tilting your gun sideways, which is the skill overcharge. So that skill is absolutely amazing. Again, it, that's all you really need. Majority of times, I'm able to confirm kills. That's my ult, by the way. My ult actually lets me teleport. Uh, towards anyone now that person went back into spawn so I can't use it, but it gives me a little bit of a, a refund But uh, anyways, yeah going back to overcharge. Uh, that's the ability right here It just it lets you confirm kills really really easy and you want to be up close and personal so uh, As far as his kit goes you have overcharge which uh, increases the fire rate of the gun as well as gives you infinite ammo during that duration now um, the other ability, which is the ultimate, which is bound to E, that's, again, you can teleport towards anyone, and then you get to knock him up, and then you can actually combo the knock up with his dash, and then you can pretty much finish off a target. It's really, really easy, but it does have a channel time, and uh, while you're doing it, you are very vulnerable. So basically, you can do it from spawn to get right back into the action. That's kind of how you uh, can use it relatively effectively if uh, the team is, like, still kind of fighting the point. And then uh, you have your rune. Again, that's the uh, translocator, if you will. Now, it just goes on the ground and you have to teleport back to it. There is a legendary card which you can actually uh, get uh, that makes it so you don't actually have to go back, which I think is kind of interesting because the one thing I do like about the uh, rune that automatically travels back, I'm able to 100% focus on trying to confirm the kill rather than actually going uh, back. And if I uh, get the kill, I can immediately just go back. But obviously, if people are really good, you should be able to like do it effectively anyways. But uh, it just actually helps me out a lot, because sometimes with Sombra, I'm really trying to guarantee that kill, and then uh, you know I'll, I'll miss my opportunity to retranslocate, and I didn't get the kill, if that makes sense. Because pretty much after you get a kill, um, you, you, you really want to go back so you can actually reposition yourself with uh, some heroes, and in some circumstances, you actually want to stay in the fight. So it can be kind of like a double-edged sword. It can be bad in some circumstances. But uh, anyways, uh, another thing that I have with my legendary card, which is Inner Strength, it actually lets me, uh, instead of like being able to choose not to like go back to my translocator, I run this thing called Inner Strength. Again, this is a legendary card. You have like, you have kind of like these perks, if you will, uh, in Paladins. And uh, what it allows me to do is when I go back, it actually resets the cooldown of Overcharge as well as Dash. And also it takes some small amount of damage reduction. Uh, the damage is pretty small, but you know, it's just a small amount, so why not? But Basically, the reason why I like him so much more than Sombra is, uh, first off, confirming the kills is just much easier uh, with him. But also, uh, what it allows you to do is you're able to uh, go in and, you know, you know, throw down a translocator, go in, try to get a kill, and then what you can do immediately is teleport back and you have your uh, skills on cooldown you can get another kill. It's just like, oh my gosh, this hero is, is so dang strong. But anyways, now that you guys understand his kit, and I'm, out, I'm pretty much always buying like cooldown reduction on him for the most part. Sometimes I'll buy other things, but you have this buying system, kind of like a score streak system in Call of Duty where you get like currency and you just buy it. Now that's just a one-time thing. It, it resets on every game. Uh, but there's also this card system in the game. I don't want to get too much into it because I, I know most of you guys uh, followed me for Overwatch. I don't want to overwhelm you guys. But uh, anyways, uh, there's more gameplay. Just uh, just watch it. He's just such a beast. But uh, enjoy. I'm just getting 
cooldown. Ah, uh, actually, probably should get cauterized first. That. Oh, no, I should even get the get their movement speed. Prepare for battle. Oh, they got Mount Dog though. I don't really don't like fighting that guy. He just throws that pool and sits on it. It's like, good luck. Drogus, 2016-20. Moji is bad. Three, His ult sucks. Two, I think, I think like I said, I just think Drogus is bad. I know before in competitive people used to ban him when I, when I played, but I, I didn't, I haven't played for a long time. Oh, oh look. Drogus is dead. See, this character is just like so incredibly strong. You can disengage and then re-engage so damn fast. Look, look, look at Drogo, it's like... Okay. Oh, it was too reckless. I guess I didn't heal up. I still had half HP. Or no, I know was full. He got lucky, alright, he got lucky. Drogo is still garbage here. Apparently I'm worse though if I die to him, right? <laughs> The one thing that I think is cool with Drogus is you can like charge up preemptively, right? Oh, she, she didn't even put up a threat at all. I love making people use a cooldown on me and then I'm just like, peace out. And, like, cause, like, I try to push a little bit. Like further, if I run up. Where the heck did that player go? I don't know what the guy's plan was. Sky's job is noob killer. No, Sky. I think Sky's terrible too. I don't think Sky is like a, a viable character to play. If unless you like look and lose, I think enough kills them. Damn dude, he's at thirteen. So EV is mid tier. Um, I, I'd say EV is like okay. Like that's what I would. That's what uh, I would put her at. I consider her like okay, Point like playable. But Drogos is like, I think worst, worst hero in game. Like him, Moji, Five, bottom tier. Four, three, two, one. Sky, I'd also put in bottom tier. Just cause like Talos came out and he's like does gel like found kind of better. Okay, now that the missiles are gone. Throw it on this. Dash in. Killing spree. Double kill. Peace out. And come back in, dash in. That's five in a row. I wish his dash cooldown was a little bit shorter, but other than that, like, I wouldn't mind if it didn't do any damage. Just like a four second cooldown, but no doubt. Oh, look at this character! I'm just gonna double the plug in, so like, I don't even care. Oh gosh. Oh yeah. Like, look at this character, it's such a joke. Can you just keep up shield and then bye bye shield. And bye bye you. Oh, what a great character. 
Look how stupidly like easy that is to confirm that kill. Oh, you push him off the bat. Oh, there we go. Flawless. Zero deaths. Talus seems fun. Talus is very fun. It's like Sombra, but if Sombra actually got damage and you have to go back to the translocator. It's actually, like, required. <laughs> That's the downside with uh, this character. Talus Mastery MVP? What? I don't know what the heck this is. I got a title? Okay, cool. Z zero- Wait, we died? Since when? What? I don't know. It's That's Photoshop, guys. I, did, did I actually die? Oh, I died to the drones once. I tried to. Oh. Three. I'm gonna two, one. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're doing it, boys. Damn, I'm so good at this game. Yo, let, 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 <laughs> the girls, where are you at? Oh, there they are. There they are. All right. Where the hell, where the hell going? Where are you going? Where are you going? I'll skill. I'll play! Let's go. Alright. Dude, do you really want to fight? I'm gonna die to this, this guy, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm just too good. I'm just too good. Victory. That looked cheap. No, that, that was what we call skill, boys? Alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed some gameplay of something a little bit different. Uh, like I said, it's kind of like the Sombra of Paladins, but uh, they do definitely have different abilities in their kit. But uh, this character, Talos, is, I, my personal opinion, way better. <laughs> but uh, if Sombra ever gets like a buff to where her damage is like high enough, I feel like she can definitely be in this area. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the vid. If you did, drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, the subscribe button for more Overwatch, and well, I guess we'll definitely do some Paladins again in the future. Mostly Paladins Battlegrounds once it finally comes out. And I'm signing out.